Yo ninjas and Kayo, welcome to the air chair stall or side chair tutorial. I already made with B-Boy Lego Sam from Malaysia an air chair tutorial. If you want, check it out. The link is gonna be in the description. If you will need more help for your power moves, your freezes or your breaking in general, check out my Patreon, link in the description. On my Patreon you can also find exclusive tutorials that I didn't publish here on my channel. So if you wanna have more content and you need more help, check out my Patreon link. <laughs> And also, if you're interested, check out my merch, also link in the description. <laughs> Before Lego Sam explained you the basics for the air chair, especially how to do the pike air chair or untucked air chair. So the air chair without touching with your elbow, your back or your side. This time instead I'm gonna explain you how I learned the side chair or air chair stall. In this air chair I lean on my elbow and I'm near to my side, so I'm in this position, not too much backwards but close to my side. Make sure you can do the chair freeze. If you cannot do that chair freeze, watch the chair and basic freezes tutorials. I'm also gonna leave the link in the description and then come back here and learn the side chair. So the three main freezes that you need to know before attempting this one are the baby freeze, then the side freeze, like this, and then the chair freeze, like this. Maybe even this variation of the chair freeze. So with the legs like this and with the legs like this. Once you can hold these three freezes for at least 20 seconds each, you can start approaching the air chair stall. First step to learning, go to the chair freeze position, but this time leave both legs on the floor, like this. Then, from here, you can play around a little bit. So, for example, you can lean the left arm on the floor and lift up your head, like this. Then you can bring it back on the floor. You can play with your legs, so lift up one leg, lift up the other leg, and just play with this position. This is the first step. Second step, start again from the chair with both legs on the floor, like this. Lean your left arm on the floor, lift up your head, and lift up also the left arm. So, stay in this position. Once you are able to hold this position for at least 20 seconds, go for the third step. Same thing, but this time lift up your left leg. You can even start directly in this position and lift up this leg. You can bend it like this. It doesn't need to be straight yet because it's gonna be harder. So you can just lift up the leg like this. If you have trouble balancing in this position, lift it up and then put it back on the floor. And just play with this position. And also here, make sure you can hold it for 20 seconds. Now we are gonna start lifting up both legs. It's gonna be a little bit harder, so we are gonna use this part of our right leg to balance more. Start in the same position like this, but then bend more the right leg, if you use the right arm, like this, and lean this part of your leg on the floor. You can even start from the hook. You are like in a hook position, like a footwork. You go to the side and you start like this and you lift up the left leg like before and from here you have to lift up only the knee of the right leg. So like this. Try to balance in this position with your knee off the floor but your foot, your right foot is still touching the floor. Also here, try to balance like this for at least 20 seconds. Once you learn it, you can slowly lift up also your foot like this and then touch it back. So lift it up and touch back the floor and play a little bit like this. Maybe at first it's gonna be hard to balance or maybe you will not be able to lift up your left leg, especially if you're not so flexible. You can start kind of like this also with this leg a little bit backwards and you start like this. Your legs are kind of like this. Instead, if you want to simulate more like the regular airshare position, your legs or at least one of your legs should be closer to you. So more like this or like this. But yeah, if you are not so flexible, you can start with the legs in this position. So you start here and with this leg, instead of going up with your knee towards your shoulder, you can go backwards. But do this only if you're not flexible and then lift up the other leg slowly like this, hold it and then go back like this 
until you can hold it for like 20 seconds. From here, slowly try to lift up your legs more. Do it slowly, because if you do it fast, you're gonna lose the balance. You don't wanna do like a pike air chair. So usually in a normal air chair, you have to close your legs and your head like this very fast and hold the position for like one second or two seconds, something like that. But in this way, instead, we're gonna just find the balance and you don't wanna move too fast because if you move too fast, you're gonna lose the balance. So do it very, very slowly. Again, from here, lift it up and slowly try to find the balance like this. And when you feel ready, try to lift up one leg more or even the other leg more if you want. Last tips that can help you, your hand, your right hand. With the right hand, you should try to grab the floor like this. So use the fingers to keep the balance. Second tip, if you wanna challenge yourself and improve the position, you can try to open more your left arm. So like this. Try to open this arm as backwards as you can. And also, you can try to do the same with your hips like this and with your legs Try to push them not only up like this, but also a little bit backwards. So try to turn your arm, your torso and your hips, your pelvis and your legs as backwards as you can. This is gonna be challenging, especially if you're not flexible. If you are flexible, maybe it's gonna be easier. The more you turn and you lift up your legs, the more it will become like a normal air chair or an intact air chair. Then if you're able to lift up your legs and your hips even more, you can start even balancing without touching with your elbow on the side, on, on the back. But this is gonna be way more advanced. You can aim for three different legs positions at first. The first one is the one that I told you before, if you are really unflexible, so this position of the legs. This is the first position that you should aim. Then the second one with the legs kind of like this. So both legs are bent kind of like in this way. So the left knee is more towards you and this one is a little bit more down but also towards you. So like this. This is the second position you should aim. The third position you should aim for is closing the right knee towards the left one. So doing this. You start from the second position like this and then you lift up this knee. So you do like this. In this way, it would be a little bit harder to control the balance because the weight of your body would be a little bit more turned towards the left side. So from here, you will do this. If you cannot do it because you're not flexible enough or it's too hard for you to balance in this position, instead you can try another position, the same as before, so like this. But this time, try to make the left leg a little bit more straight. So instead of bending it like this, try to make it straight. If it's too hard to keep it perfectly straight, you can even bend it a little bit, but not that much. So not like this, but try at least something like this. Start from here, or if you want, you can even start directly with your leg more straight and go up like this. After mastering these three or four basic variations, you can try to create new ones. Try to use your creativity, your imagination, and try to create new forms. For example, you can try to grab one foot, for example, the left one, like this, and try to hold it like this, or like this. Or for example, you can start by grabbing this foot like this and going like this, or even like this, for example, you can try to change your legs like this. But first, master these three or four basic forms and then try to increase the level and learn new ones. A very important note, this type of air chair is very different, at least in my opinion, from the untucked air chair. I can do this air chair, but for me, the untucked one is very hard because for the untucked one, you should have a little bit more strength and also flexibility because your body is turned more, is more like this, so it's not on the side like this, but it's more turned towards the sky. And also you should have the strength 
to hold this position for at least one or two seconds. If you want to learn this one, watch the tutorial I made with Legosan, link in the description, but it's a very different movement in my opinion. If you learn this archer stall in this tutorial, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna learn the other archer. Or even the opposite thing, if you learn the other type of air chair, it doesn't mean that you're gonna learn this one. Because this one, the, of this tutorial, relies more on the balance and the control of your body, because you have to balance all the time. But it doesn't rely so much on flexibility, especially if you do it more sideways like this. You don't have to be flexible and you don't, you don't have to be strong to hold this position. Instead, the other air chair doesn't rely so much on the body control and on the balance, but relies more on strength and flexibility. So it's very, very different, even if it looks very similar. I really hope this video was useful for you. If you need more help, or if you wanna see more tutorials, check out my Patreon, link in the description. And also, if you're interested, check out my merch, also link in the description. See you next week, or even this week maybe, because maybe I'm gonna try to upload two tutorials per week. Let's see if I can do it. So see you this week or next week with a new tutorial. Yo ninjas!